going to build the wall, okay? Believe me. We're going to build the wall. We will build a great wall, and we will stop illegal immigration for once and for all. Well, I thought he wasn't serious about building that wall. Think again. According to reports from Reuters, the president-elect's team's already meeting with Homeland Security to make good on that signature campaign promise. Joining us right now with his reaction, Fox News contributor and founder of The Resurgent, Eric Erickson. Uh, good morning to you, Eric. Good morning. We've got a kid in here for uh, the upcoming <laughs> Italian food demonstration. They're not squeaking about your appearance today. Uh, so Donald Trump, you know, he, on the campaign, he made it very clear he's going to build the wall. And then after he was elected, people said he's not going to build the wall. Turns out his people are talking to the Department of Homeland Security about building the wall right now. Yeah, very much so. They, they've asked for all the available assets and then what's on the border. Remember, there was a section of the border that was covered in National Guard troops and, and other available personnel right. by President Bush. And when he left and President Obama came in, he removed all of those people. And it looks like, based on the request, uh, the Trump administration, at least they want to put those people back. Remember, Congress still has to appropriate the funds to build a wall, but they definitely look like they want to secure that area of the border again. Sure. Uh, some of the things uh, the transition team asked for, federal resources available to build the walls, how much was available. Also, they wanted a list of all the executive orders that President Obama issued regarding immigration. And that's critical because they were asking, did they pass any, uh, did they write any regulations, uh, for instance, for the dreamers to change their status or to hide information uh, based on various things? Right. You know, DACA, the, the deferred program for children, is actually affecting here in Georgia. We had a state court judge yesterday rule that illegal aliens under DACA are considered legal citizens now and can get in-state tuition, which doesn't seem to comply with the law, but does comply with the Obama order. So uh, states are running into this issue already. It looks like the Trump administration wants to reverse that very quickly because it's driving up costs to states, particularly along the border. Mm -hmm. Now, Eric, I know that you were a critic at times of uh, Donald Trump before he was elected uh, president. President of the United States. But the border wall is something that has united a lot of people because they feel like unless we can secure our own border, we will never be a sovereign nation. So what, what they're doing right now, you like, right? Yeah, very much so. Listen, I, I've never believed in comprehensive immigration reform. How can you have a comprehensive plan when you've still got people coming across the border? Sure. Secure the border, and suddenly the whole conversation changes. It, it seems like sovereignty 101, secure your border as a nation. Absolutely. Uh, in, in the meantime, uh, we've got the news today that uh, it looks as if the Republicans on Capitol Hill caved after uh, essentially gutting the uh, House Chamber's ethics office after Donald Trump did some tweeting. That was the right thing to do for the Republicans, right? Because it was a dumb thing to do yeah. first thing out of the gate. He was really dumb. I mean, it completely distracted from the first day. The, the headlines could have been about the Obamacare repeal, and yep. it became about ethics. No kidding. And you got to win for uh, Ford. They're not going to build that factory down in Mexico. Going to keep jobs here. I, Eric, i got a feeling... You kind of like what Donald Trump's doing right now. Thus far, some of the, the Russian stuff is still a little troublesome to me, but the domestic stuff, he's listen, he's more productive right now than even George W. Bush was when he came into office in 2001 when it comes to shaking up the domestic economy. And that's a good thing. But I do have a little bit of a concern about a strong man in Washington essentially bullying American businesses. I'm a big free market guy. They should go where they want. But it's good that they're forcing Ford to reconsider their options as opposed to just saying goodbye like the Obama administration didn't seem to care. Well, Ford has said, you know what, we like the idea, lower taxes, less regulation, America a good place to do business. All right, Eric Erickson joining us today from Georgia. Eric, thank you very much.